just came back from shooting a video with Sean Daniel. Uh, I had too much coffee today and I'm feeling pumped. And now it is time to edit this video. What's up my friends, followers, family, mom. Hey mom. <laughs> we have different moms. I was saying more hi to your mom than my mom. For real? Oh crap. That's... Sorry you had to find out this way. It's a bummer, but... Goodbye. Uh, at my gigs, when they find out that I'm from Mexico... How do they find that out? I usually tell them. Mm -hmm. They immediately go to request three songs. Okay. Number one is number La Bamba. One? Then they request Besame Mucho. It's actually a beautiful Great song. song. Here's another song that they request. It's called Cielito Lindo. Mm. You know how most people in the United States know this song from? What? From a Frito Lay commercial. No kidding, really? Ay, 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 ay. I am the Frito Bandido. Teach me this. I need to learn this song. I want to teach you this. So uh, basically, this song I know it in A. I play it in A. And we're gonna use a rhythm called tuntata. 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 So we're gonna be using uh, the bass, the bass yeah. of A. Yeah. And we're gonna play just that note with your thumb. And then, with, yeah, and then you, you can either play with your three fingers and. That's how or I get, yeah. you can strum. Most uh, commonly, people strum. Okay. Uh, so I'm already doing it wrong. <laughs> no, no, you can do either way. My guy. Nothing you do when it comes to playing guitar is wrong. Listen to this guy. Meaning, so in general, the, the people I thought you playing. meant me as Sean Daniel, nothing, that's a general. No, you were playing it wrong. Okay. Right. But you guys, you're playing it right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go easy on them. <laughs> so, you're gonna play your bass. Yeah. And strum twice down. Mm -hmm. And then your other bass, which is, is that the fifth? Yes, it is. A, that B, is C, D, E. So, What's you're gonna e? play your so E. The melody. De la Sierra Morena, Cielito Lindo Bien. And then we're gonna go to E7. And your main bass for E7 is gonna be your E string. Right? And then B. Na, na, na. Go back to your A. You repeat that. And then when you go to the chorus, you're gonna make an A7. And then go to your D. And then E. Canta y no llores. A. A, okay, alright. Porque cantando se. E7. Se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. That's the Beautiful. whole song. That's you awesome. just repeat. You do the, the verse again, the chorus mm -hmm. again. It's a very simple song, three chords, and the rhythm is super simple. So now you can play all these uh, ranchero songs. All great. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a great way to practice alternating bass notes. Alternating bass notes. Right? So with the A, we have an A, a to an E, a root note, and it's fifth. With the E, we have an E, and a B, to a B, a root note to its fifth. Right? Uh, and D. And then D. You play your D and your A. And then A. A root note to its fifth. So it's almost like there's something going on here with root notes. Correct. And their fifths. That is correct. Mm -hmm. I love it. I feel and like a when ranchero play, person. When you're, a little tip. When you're playing your D, try not to play. When you strum down, don't play the sixth string. The I, you know what? I think of this as the first string. I'm trying to change people's mind. Oh, really? It seems more like a first string to me, right? It seems like, you know what? I used to get mm -hmm. confused. I, because it doesn't make any sense. To right? start here? If you're looking at it and you numbered them, six, five, four, three, no. That's, this is my hill to die on, people. I'm sorry. If, if you if you see my channel, you know that those are my thoughts. And that is called Cielito Lindo. Very simple, very easy song. And what's the rhythm? Two. It's called Tuntata. Tuntata. It's also known as a waltz, as far as the, the time signature. Correct. Right? One, two, three, one. That two, is three. totally so, correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're learning so much here. On oh this my channel. gosh. I'm so glad I came. Well, thank you. Ranchero music, thank right? You. Is that the, that would be the genre, I suppose? 
Yeah, it'll be ranchero. I actually wrote a song called uh, Amigo Norteamericano. I remember. You, you remember? Because I, I recorded it. I recorded it uh-huh. here on Sean Daniel's studio. Uh-huh. We, have a, I, we uh, have a quattro in that song, I believe, right? A we have player? a harp. Harp. Yeah, correct. Almost right. I feel like there was a quattro somewhere in that song. <laughs> But I'm wrong. Nope. <laughs> I'm usually wrong about stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, for the outro, I would like to play this song for the audience. Sure, please. Are you okay with that? Yeah, of course. Will you be my audience? I would love to be your audience. Thank Wait, you. do I awkwardly sit here? No, uh, no why don't you sure. solo a little in E? Anyway. But if you're going to solo on this, that's a good opportunity for them to see how you solo to a song you don't even know. Yeah. So uh, try not to use any blues notes. Uh, oh, so that's impossible for me to do. There's, there's no way. Wait, so it's in E? So that means your yeah. chords are going to be E, A, and B? Correct. Okay. All right. No blues notes. Don't do this. What do you mean no blues notes? I'll, I, <laughs> you can't do that to me. That's the one thing about this kind of music. You don't usually use blues notes. Well, you ready, you, bro? You got the wrong player. Are we so gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna use your normal it? scale. All right. Huh? All right. Great. Let's do it. All right. I'm gonna accompany you mildly. Ranchero, brother. Yo nací en América, no en el norte, más para el sur. Y no tengo los privilegios, esos que tienes tú, porque no tengo la piel tan clara. Unos cuantos me miran mal. Cuando me hablan y no les entiendo, yo solo respondo hi. Hi, how are you, my friend? Oh yes, I'm fine. Extraño a mi familia, quisiera con ellos estar. Hi. Veras, thank you very much, amigo norteamericano. Tu casa ahora es mi hogar. No sevens. <laughs> Can't do it. I forgot to tell you, no seven chords. Oh, yeah, Ma- no. <laughs> the other thing about ranchero music is very simple. All the chords are super simple. Triads. So. Or, or, well, no, there's some dominant seven chords in there, aren't there? No, no, there are dominant sevens. Yeah, but never major uh, sevens. When you go yeah, from never one major chord, sevens, though, usually yeah. when you're getting ready mm-hmm. to go to the chorus. Yeah, always. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Always. Yeah, it's cool. Usually your second chord, like like if you're playing a song in A and you then you do your E seven, like for the previous song, yeah. uh, it's always a seven as well. Okay. So in this song that I was playing in E, when you're doing your B, it's always a B7. Yeah. No matter what genre of music you're in, a dominant seven chord on the five chord will always lead you home. Resolution. Always lead you home. That's beautiful. Resolution. I love it. Thank you for Th- educating me. No, no, no. Andreas. Thank you for being in your couch, in yeah, your this, house. This is it. And you made thank it to you the casting for couch. being here in your house. And uh-huh. uh, it's no problem for me, really. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say thank you guys for being, you know, here in my channel, subscribing, checking out what I have to say and to teach and whatever I can I show it. you. Is it okay we disappear? Yeah, I, we, that's kind of like your thing, right? It's my thing. I disappear. Uh-huh. Vamos a desaparecer. Translation: We are gonna disappear. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a guy named Sean Daniel? Uh, right here in the flat, my man. Oh, you're Sean Daniel? That's, yeah. I know, pretty famous. It's kind of intimidating, but you know. It is kind of intimidating because it is fun to meet celebrities around town and then have them drive me. I'm not even a celebrity uh, yet. Yeah. You're working on it. I am working on it. I mean, define celebrity, you know. Say. You're from, celebrated. In well, it comes from celery. Ways. Celery? You eat a lot of celery? I think nope. celery is a, a little expensive for what it is. Honestly, it is. Right? It's kind of a root, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's like it's mostly water. I have never bought celery myself. It's always my wife or my mom. I have no idea of the price of celery. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not crazy, but it's not cheap. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Clever Cop. Clever Cop? That's kind of my spot. You know, the funny thing is actually I did a little vlog on this place. Please. Thank you. Come on in. If I seem a little nervous right now, it's because I'm sitting next to the reigning USFSM homecoming queen, Brie Graber. Hello. Go Bulls. And I'm just basking in her radiant glory right now. Makes me a little nervous. Andreas, who has the best coffee in town? Like, and don't, don't say this place if you don't mean it. The Clever Cup is actually a clever choice. Sounded a little bit like a promo to me. But I do believe that. They're in the top two cold brew in town. Clever Cup. I don't know what number two would be. Whatever you guys say, I just want to be on this video. 